I think that's Thomas. Yeah, that's him. <laughs> Let's see what crazy entrance he does today. Oh, yeah, here he comes. <laughs> How's it going guys? So today on the WRX kind of one of those scarier days. I, I've had the car for about a week now. We installed a, a Perrin Catalyst downpipe and it get, it was noticeably faster. And all of a sudden the power and the high RPMs, the turbo was like either it's got a leak or something. So I kind of checked around. You want to check on the piping right here. It's kind of hot right now still. But on the turbo to the intercooler and same thing with this pipe right here. And they look okay. But as I was kind of looking, if you look sort of back there, there's a little bit of oil. Basically, we are going to be taking off the intercooler. Kind of nervous. I was reading some um, forums about it. So we're going to see if Turbo has a bad seal or not. Okay, so first things off, you're going to want to start with taking off the block oh. off. And there's, if you come over here, there's going to be two bolts right here. And you're going to take it out with like, a, this one's a 12 millimeter. So I'll come back once I get this out. And then you're going to want to take it off. But so we'll just leave that right there. Next step, you're gonna want to take off. There's a bolt right here. And there's a bolt. That one's not on it. That's the. Dude, that's not good. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, look at this stuff. This is supposed to be on that. That is not good. I'm gonna have to go and buy a bolt because it's one bolt holding onto that intercooler. That might be why things are wiggling. Fuck. All right. Well, you also gotta take out these two little bolts. That's right there. I think it's just holding on to part of the part of the AC. I'm gonna go and take those off. That's too small. And it's not glued to. That's not good, Tom. Make sure not to kick those bolts. Dude, this was loose, Tom. Or it wasn't even tight. Yeah, that's one of my biggest pet peeves is when people go to, you know how you can squirt a little water on your windshields? When I just washed my car, People think it's funny to go and go in front of me while we're going like 45 miles an hour and then they turn it on and it gets all over my car. That's, that will grind my gears. So once we got that out, hmm? <laughs> once we got that out, we're going to go and take off these two bolts because it's just kind of like, stink. Everything's still hot. And then you're going to take off this side also. Go and take and start taking off the clamps that go to it. Basically, just unscrew this, wiggle it for all the way to the back. Same thing with this one. Then you're just kind of, I'm really kind of scared. Yeah, so you're gonna see right in there. It just uses a oh. it uses a flat head. Now it's really ow, hot. Did you just drive it? Yeah. <laughs> Not smart. Well, I had the fan on it. Alright. Let's check the fuck. The shit out. I'm gonna get gloves real quick. Don't burn my hand. I'm just gonna go ahead and loosen it all the way. It's kinda hard to see in there. So that's loose. We'll get that off onto the little baby turbo. So now. Is everything loose? They should come off. Yeah, this, and then this should just pop the hole. Oh, <laughs> I missed one. I missed. So there's actually three that hold this to it. I'm kind of scared there's going to be oil in this thing. And now this thing... Oh? Should get that free. Looks like the pipe on the bottom's still connected. Ow. 
Oh, we definitely have a turbo leak after this. Nah. It's broken. You wanna come over here? I'm guessing. Yeah, see how there's just a light film of, of oil? That's good there. I'm gonna go and take this pipe off from because if you look under here, there's two piping. I'm gonna take this from off here. There's a B on me. Oh never mind, it's not angry. <laughs> I'm gonna pull this off and go and also check inside here for oil. Who's that? He's rubbing on the metal. Let's go back inside. There's a lot of leakage around it though. Really? Like all around the pipe. Like over here? Yeah. Huh. It's also saying just like light. Dude, what is wrong with our turbo? I think. What, what, why do you think something's wrong with it? I think I'm just getting used to it. You are getting used to it. I told you that. We're gonna go and pour and see if there's oil. <laughs> Nothing's gonna. Nothing's supposed to come out of that thing. Yeah, well, if you have a bad seal, some people said they've had a quart of oil in their inner cooler. There's nothing in there. Turbo's good. Turbo's good. I honestly thought it'd be harder to take off an inner cooler. Don't you think? Yeah. yeah. So this really did not take long at all. Just it's a really part that if something's leaking, you're going to lose races. When you lose races. You have to be six Camaro. Uh, that did not count. So I raced a V6 Camaro on the last vlog. I didn't record it because I'm still getting used to recording everything that we do. And I had four people in my car. And he had one person in his car and I lost to a V6 Camaro. It was like a 60 roll. Yeah, it was like I, said, I was pulling on him, but... Where did you shift? You lost him. Yeah, because my tur I boost went away. I lose with no boost. Are you taking off? That's brand. That's new. So it's. You can get one of those at Home Depot. These? Yeah. Really? It's just a cuff one, basically. We're not haggard, dude. I want to get some nice stuff. So it doesn't look like this thing is broken. This one looks okay. I'm gonna go and put it back on and make sure it's nice and snug. It feels so empty with that intercooler right there. I should get a front mounted. Not that hard. Yeah, it looks cooler. Yeah, but then there's no reason for a scoop. That is true. And I'd rather have a reason than not. Don't call me a damn racer. Damn, look at that pre runner. Fuck. What if, this just, what if it just stabbed into the. That would suck. Oh, I got. Look at this intercooler. You can see that chip. Where is it? Radiator, what the. Look at that motherfucker. Ford top though, Ford top. She still run like a champ. I thought it was for only rolling down. For only railing dirt song, bitch. We're missing a damn bolt. You only have one of them. Daniel doesn't Wait. know where his bolts are. Plan, dude, Tommy, plans for next year. I wanna have. Turbo. What? I'm addicted to boost. I'm a boostaholic. You know, I only run like 16 pounds of boost and I don't have a boost gauge. Because I might not even be running. I told you, go to O'Reilly's and get a cheap one. Oh, you're going to break it. Oh, you broke it. Huh. Broken! <laughs> Something just. I see it. I see it. You're bad. That could have. Nope, in the engine. Gone forever. So the trick to getting these in, you just everything is all in. We tightened everything up. It's all back together. No, no uh, seal, no blown seal.
So the best thing about a turbo to car, and if something is wrong with it, is we get to go. Well, to make these. We had to go and try to see if anything's wrong with it. Which means pulls and waste and gas. I'm coming home again tonight. I'm saving your tears this So we just came back. Everything is all good. I think it's time to go to Mexico. Good. Just a heads up, we just drove, I don't know how many hours to Mexico. So it took a while. <laughs> so we're gonna go. What is it? I wanna go. Oh, it's flat right there. I, you can, I did a like drift right here once. You can still see it. Go out. Ow. It's a, just a whole dirt road down this way. So are we about to go rally cross through here? Ow. Oh yes! Oh yes! So in this next clip, Tommy did a bad job at recording, but basically when we made a left-hand turn into here, there were workers still by their trucks and getting ready to leave, and I basically just did a couple donuts in front of them. As we fled, we ended up just going home. I washed the WRX. No one came after us. It was, it was a cool experience taking the WRX out in the dirt. Probably not going to do it again. I felt like I was hurting it way too much. Um, still got to figure out a intro and outro for my videos. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like and subscribe. My name's Daniel. See you guys next time. We out.